Hi there, Pisces. Welcome, welcome. We're here for you. This is your reading for um, the week here. Let's jump into it and see what is at play. Um, the week of January 16th. Okay, let's take a look. Um, here we're reading on Sunday. We just got some of the cards here for you and jump into it. as well. Okay. okay, Pisces, what are we looking at here for this particular week? Let's bring this down a bit. Okay. okay. Let's first work here with the Activations Oracle deck. Okay. Heart of the source, all-encompassing love, unconditional acceptance, serenity. Okay. Beautiful. Some of you, I just get this, that you may, you have an apology coming. Somebody may be apologizing here to you for something. I'm not sure what. We'll get further into it. We'll see what's what. Arcturian light codes, evolutionary downloads, rec recalling power in future thinking. Beautiful. I feel that there is something that somebody is going to clarify here for you. It's going to sort of help you see a certain part of your life differently, Pisces. The divine matrix, interconnectedness, synchronicity, and God incidences it may even be somewhat serendipitous the way that this communication comes forward. Um, it's really lovely, Pisces energy I'm getting here for you. Serious star blessings. I feel that it is related though to somebody in your midst. Like if somebody does come through and sort of again, I hear like apologize or like communicate something, it's going to be even satiating to you in some way. Yes, proceed, be seen, push through. Hmm. Just one of you. Yeah, I feel somebody will admit something even. Karmic board clearing. Yeah, there's definitely a shift. Energetic clearing, rewrite your story, live your truth. Mm -hmm. Someone is going to like admit something. I feel for somebody, this is somebody you've known for quite some time. Thoughtful light codes, light initiation, great teacher, awakening divine magic. I do feel you've been waiting on this Pisces, but we'll get further. Crystal school wisdom, clarity, divine healing, high vibrational energy. Wow. I mean, just the fact that we're really drawn to these cards here. The crown chakra upgrade, divine connection, holy experiences, miraculous energy. I feel that this is in reverse. There is something, though, that, you know, to say it in the way that there's something that you're releasing, Pisces. I feel like you're also just not going to be worrying about something as much, like, maybe as you had in the past. Let's get some further energy here. What is going on here for Pisces? What is going on here for Pisces here the week of January 16th? He's popping out. Okay, justice. Yeah, somebody here wants to say something to you. Chariot. Some of you can be, yeah, actually may have. I was going, I was thinking of reunion energy here. I didn't want to call it out too soon, but yeah, I do believe for some of you here. This is someone though, even existentially, they want to call something out with you, like to call it out, like to feel that they can come closer to you should they call it out, um, if that makes sense. Like, I feel somebody here wants to admit something. The two of pentacles in reverse, eight of swords of right. Yeah, this is, um... They may have a really strong Venus, I hear that. Father Cups, this could be somebody who's got a lot of Cancer as well, a lot of water, Venus as well, very strong Venus again energies. Libra even, uh, Venus in Libra, Venus in Taurus even, Venus in Scorpio for some of you, Libra. Again, I'm hearing that twice. Um, Cancer, they could be a Scorpio. Um, they might, may have some Leo, some Virgo as well. Some Yeah, they are very Scorpio for some of you. Oh, this is your divine counterpart, Pisces. Oh, Pisces, this is huge. Mother of Cops, Father of Cops. This is someone here who wants to, I hear, like, meet up with you. They want to maybe even, like, call it out, like, publicly here. Three Swords of Universe, yes. This is an apology, Pisces. Son of Swords, this is somebody here who really feels, like, kind of, like, sideways about the way they've treated you, <clears throat> possibly. Now, feel free to come back to this video in about, again, like, periodically, a few weeks, months even, and see how the, the message does resonate. Again, these are sort of, like, transmissions. They're, like, you know, this is... Yeah, let's clear it. This is um, a download. So it takes time for it to manifest in 3D at times. So come back to this video. Seven of Swords in Reverse. 
Three of Wands in reverse. Nine of Swords upright. The five, Ten of Wands in reverse. Six of Wands in reverse. So now there's something really miraculous kind of here. I see that for some of you, this is someone from the past you haven't heard from for a long time now. Ten of Wands upright. Um, I think it's shocking whatever this sort of even like moment of confession is. I see you kind of just being like, oh my god, like it's it's kind of um there's a serendipity to it though. Like it's a little unexpected. I feel for some of you you'll be like, well, I didn't think that you really like thought of me in that way, you know? Let's see further. Let's clear. Some of you, this is in this has been really you maybe fell off the map with this person, like they never ended up really telling you really how they really truly felt and it was really uncomfortable okay um per throw landing writes it up just literally off of the spread this is definitely somebody who's got a lot of water in their chart they could be a literal scorpio this is for some of you um they've been waiting to to even give you to extend something to you it can be a letter again i hear a confession for some we have um we have ingots as well here there's a lot of physical you know there's something physical here um but there's also like uh, even a um something related well it's a translation of a message they want to communicate something to you and and maybe in a new way for some of you there's an actual gift or something they would like to extend or maybe invite you somewhere i hear that as well um yeah okay so um let's clear the energy let's see if there are any other messages here for pisces the week of January 16th, we'll say Sunday to Sunday. Let's clear the energy and ground. <clears throat> they may just like tell you like very simply like they're very attracted to you. Maybe they'll make a gesture that just kind of like makes it clear, you know, kind of thing. Give me a quick second here, Pisces. I do feel that you're very drawn to this person as well. Yeah, I feel like you're very actually drawn to this person, Pisces. Um, for some of you, you may have worked with this person, but like it never got really like off the ground, if you know what I mean. Like it took time is what I'm hearing um, to maybe start to see it as beyond maybe even like just a financial opportunity. I'm not sure. Take it as you will. Um, let's get, get some further. Let's play the energy. Let's get some further clues. One more message here from the Activations Oracle deck would like to come through. Again, Sirius Star Blessings. Yes, proceed, be seen, push through. This can be their energy, you know. Maybe they were very shy with you. Oh my god, yeah, Pisces for some. They were very, 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 like, nervous about calling something out, even. I I'm hearing they weren't sure how you'd react to them. They may have a lot of Earth in their chart as well. I see that Father Pentacles mirroring that Seven of Wands on the main deck of the wild and known. There's a lot of love, but yeah, there's a lot of history here that as well. You guys may go really like way back. Let's get cards here for each of the days. Any further messages here for the sign of Pisces? January 16th, Sunday to Sunday. Is that the straight? No. I feel they're not sure if you would accept them. I'm not sure what that means, but <laughs> exactly what something financial even going on. Yeah, there goes the moon. They could be a Scorpio for some of you. They're the very they're very nervous at times about how you may interpret their interest in you. Nine of Wands, or maybe at times defensively the chariot again coming through. So either somebody may be visiting someone physically, but it, it, I get it more as um, maybe even their energy that could be a Cancer again, but there could be some travel we have here again. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. There's a strength card. It's funny, I thought the Two of Pentacles, it seemed like the, the, the strength card. So um, it could be focused on the Leo energy as well. We did mention that earlier. Let's clear it. What's interesting is that we literally have Leo energy, we have the moon, and we have the moon. Chariot being ruled by the moon, right? This is Cancer energy. So, um, and then we literally have the moon, Major Arcana. So, there's a focus on some kind of cyclicalism, yin yang, very strong connection, possibly even 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. That's the Three of Pentacles. Let me lead out with the Seven of Pentacles. There's a lot of attraction. Again, I keep hearing that. There's a lot of interest. I feel this is a connection that has been put on the back burner or like it's just kind of been like put to the side. Like it hasn't actually been accented in the way that 
Uh, there is potential for it. Okay, and so that's quite interesting. Let's get just one more layer of influence here of cards. Insight, rather, insight. Yeah, I think they didn't know how to approach you, Pisces, quite honestly. Like, they didn't know if they should approach you from a more, you know, from what kind of angle, if that makes sense. Um, let's get just one more round of cards here upon this spread. But there's a lot of physical attraction and I feel for some of you this person's gonna come and visit you yeah they're gonna physically like actually maybe even travel to visit you but again please let me know how this resonates over time come back to this reading let me know like is this something that happened over time if so how much how much time did it quite take you know um yeah some of you um they're intimidated by you oh my god there is a lot of attraction here, but there's a lot of intimidation. Um, you have uh, the Six of Cups, the Fool, the High Priestess, the Four of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, um, the World, and the Empress. Ah, with the Death card. Okay. So I think they want to confess something to you. Yeah, I get that feeling really, really strongly. So um, thanks for tuning in, you guys. Love and light. Let me know how this did resonate. And... Uh, Let's just get one more layer here of energies with the letter charms. Any other clues here for Pisces when it comes... For some of you, you guys are going to travel together. You know, I see that real strongly here with the world coming through. Second to last day. Oh, the S just popped right out there. Some of you, they want to travel with you. They want to offer you something. We have the letter C. That makes me think of SC, but you take it as you will. The number 10 coming out as well right there. Um, I feel there's maybe even be an age difference. So thank you guys for tuning in. It's so cold, right? What is age? Love and light, guys. We'll see you in the next